Okay guys, so I've decided to do my starting build for Fallout 4. This is just a rough idea. Um, I'll link this site if you've not used it before, the RPG gaming. It's all up there anyway, you can see it. Okay, so first I'll put my name in and then I'll just go through what I'll use. I'll start strength 3, perception will be 6, endurance 3, charisma 3, intelligence 6, agility 3, luck 3, and I think actually I did knock up that to 4 it was, my endurance to 4, or was it charisma to 4? There we go. Okay, so the reason why I've done that, okay, so we'll start strength to 3. Uh, obviously when you get it to 3, armor smith, that's where you can craft your own like armor and whatever so that's handy from the get-go obviously you get your big leagues whatever that does iron fist it's you know some melee but not many people would be too bothered about that but armor smith quite important to start off with um perception obviously i got that all the way to six this is all about shooting pickpocketing quite important can be important obviously for your rifles awareness uh let's see the level of damage resist enemies display whilst in bats very important for a bit of strategy. Lock picking, yeah, very, very handy. Uh, demolition, obviously you'd be better with the explosives going on. And friend of the night, think that's being able to see better during the dark, who knows, but you know, I think it'd be quite good. So endurance, I put that all the way up to three, yeah. So endurance, yeah. Uh, if nothing else, you could take a beat to instantly gain 10% damage, 10 damage resistance, always handy. Lead belly. I'm pretty sure that has to do with uh, the radiation in the water uh, from the old fallouts. Life giver. That from the old fallouts, just uh, more, you get more health or, or something. I know it's good, but I can't remember. Uh, so that's why I put it to three. Not massive good. Um, charisma. Gap, uh, cap collector, you, you've mastered the art of deal and selling price of vet, the vendors are better, especially at the early start of the game. That is very handy. Uh, lady killer, you're, you're charming, dangerous women. You're charming and dangerous, full stop. Women suffer 5% damage in combat and easier to persuade into in dialogue. Always handy. Uh, then, obviously, your canine. Your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them in bats. You know, can be handy, but you know, it does go further down into animal friends, uh, local leader. So if you want that later on, it can be very handy. You're only two points away from just knocking it to get it all bobblehead at one point. You know what I mean? Okay, so intelligence. The reason why I took six on this. Um, see whatever this is the path whatever that's not the reason medic super handy yes yeah, if actually put uh, restore 40 percent of lost health and right away remove 40 percent of radiation you know much much stronger good not better yeah that's what you're after it's obviously the creation of weapons and customizing them much more skilled um, hacker always a winner same as lockpick hacker you'll gain a shit ton more extra things because of those two skills. In the old fallouts, I made sure they were my priorities to get, like all sorted out as a lockpick and hacker, because the amount of extra rooms you get into or storages or safes, because then, you know, it really pays for itself. Ammo crafting, the amount of shit you gotta find around the wasteland, the amount of stuff you can craft in this game, that is gonna be beyond helpful. And science. He's holding a laser weapon there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, take advantage of advanced technology with access to base level and rank 1 high tech mods. Yeah, so pretty sure that's going to help out with your modding ability on, on the laser weapons. Um, agility, uh, do 20% more damage with pistols, so always handy. Swap your rifle to a pistol. Your pistols always win as conserve ammo and your main weapons. Commando, rigorous training, rig rigorous combat training means automatic weapons 20% more damage cannot go wrong with that and the reason why I took it to three sneak 
become whisper, become shadow, you're 20% harder to detect while sneaking. That is handy, it means you can get better stealth shots. And look all the way to three. Uh, can't find, can't find. Bloody mess, 5% bonus damage means enemies will sometimes explode in a gory red pace. Watch out for flying eyeballs. Okay, so that is the reason why I've got, I think that's a really solid build to be able to get some great abilities straight off the bat, especially the hacker, pickpocket, uh, lockpick, armorsmith, and good nut, you know, that's covering all bases to save a lot of hassle and to not miss out on things you could have got to straight away. Um, so yes, you will need to level up the hacker and lock picking quite quickly. Uh, for me, I'm the type of person to, as soon as they're out of the way, I'm happy because you know you've full access to everything then there's nothing can be hidden away from you. But that's my Fallout 4 starter build. Um I don't think I'll be I may I may change that that back to a three, but to be fair, you know, I'm not really too bothered. I may I may change that to a three to go to not that to four to get your weapon smith. I might actually do that. To be fair, yeah, yeah. That's not, uh, yeah, fuck it. Change the, change the charisma to four strength, weapon smith. Then you're covering all bases. That's not too big of a deal, in all, to, in all honesty. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.